very kindly put a rope in So danger of death, what if you fall off from the top? I have never Hello been. There. Hello. I've never seen inside. This is the inside of Sean Lighthouse. Yes. Wow. It's a lovely old thing. Yeah, I, I, well, I remember this from when we used to live on Shoreham Beach up to 1960. And when we moved to Hurstbeer Point, I, was bought, I mean, I was, when we moved from Shoreham Beach, I was seven years old. We lived at Harbour Way, so there was nothing between here and there. Bloody like spoilers. Yeah, it? I know. But when we moved to Hurstbury Point, apparently I could never go to sleep. Because all night I had in my bedroom window this lighthouse going oh, right. all night, ever since, you know, with that be, all I'd ever known is a lighthouse going on and off. Whereas yeah. it might have kept some people away, it kept me away. In fact, the lighthouse wasn't bloody going. Oh, how stupid is that? Yeah. You know? How stupid is that? Yeah, because. Yeah, was that? Was it 1860 or something? Eh? About 1860, I think it. That was on site. Um, 1846. Yeah. Right. No, we used to go on there. Right. 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 One end of the antenna is now hoisted. All we've got to do now Put the other end in the air somehow. Well, I hope this isn't a sign of things to come. Our antenna has snapped at the trap. We weren't on air yet, fortunately. And we've got the other leg of the antenna up here either. And it's raining, so perhaps not the best start ever. But uh, we are radio amateurs, so we will overcome. I I'm going to take a photo of that to prove that, did it. that very occasionally you can solder. I can solder. <laughs> <laughs> under, under instruction, I might add. I haven't done it very well, but I've soldered it. <laughs> no, it was not. Do you know what we didn't do? Yeah. What didn't we do? We didn't run the pliers over the copper. 
Oh. And by running the pliers over your coffee, we move the oxide off the outside. We arrived here at two o'clock and after the trouble putting up the tent because of the high winds and then the rain and then the problem with the trap up there and then trouble getting the mast at the other end that you can't quite see behind the Shoreham Rowing Club. After all of that we are now ready to go on the air at quarter past seven. <laughs> So I'm hoping that everything that can go wrong will have gone wrong on the Friday night and we will now have a really successful trouble-free weekend. There we are. Some of that. And uh, something for later, lovely. <laughs> yeah, the weather could be fun later and particularly the wind speed. Oh, shut up, Forty miles an hour from nine PM. Well good morning everybody, we've made it through to Saturday morning and the good news is that the tent survived in one piece and the antenna is still up in the sky despite a very blustery night to say the least and some heavy rain but uh, hopefully for the rest of the weekend we won't have anything quite as bad as that. Slight drawback last night when we were testing was that uh, the SWR would go from 1 to 1 to about 1.5 to 1 up to infinity and then back down again so it looks like we've got either a loose connection somewhere or maybe water is getting into one of the traps very little wind sunshine no rain you wouldn't think it was the same day but even just a few hours ago overnight it was blowing an absolute gale and chucking it down with rain. The antenna update is that the antenna that we were using we think has had it or one of the traps has. So we're not going to muck about, we're going to put up a completely different one instead that fortunately we've got in storage. So this is the antenna that's going up instead. of how much it rained last night, isn't it? There's a bit of water in there. Right, there ain't no water now. Right, so where's the one at the bottom? So the Carolina wind is working. Four hundred watts out of that thing. Yeah, Roger the 5-9, your reference Lima Victor 0009, Roger.
Many thanks for zero 09, best of luck and have fun. Golf Bravo 8, Sierra Lima, clear. Chris Y, bye bye. Roger, Roger, thanks. And for your efforts, United Kingdom, 0 to 3. My service is after you, one out of 73442. Golf Bravo 8 of Sierra Lima, Charlie Sierra 2, Hotel November, India. 73 is a thank you for the USO. QSL, QSL, and uh, thanks so very much. Uh, you were five and nine here on the east coast of Scotland. We're uh, uh, in this little, uh, this lighthouse here, beautiful lighthouse, uh, UK 0034. You probably got that information already. My name is Lon, London, Ontario, Norway. So uh, I hope you're having a great uh, weekend. Uh, we have beautiful weather up here uh, for a change. Uh, so the rain's gone away for a couple of days. We've got to put up the uh, antennas and everything. We're running uh, the 400 watts into a uh, into a little uh, three uh, element uh, uh, trapped uh, beam uh, pointed your way, obviously, at this point. So uh, uh, GB8SL, uh, GB2LBN. Golf Bravo 2, Lima Bravo November, Golf Bravo 8, Sierra Lima, Shoreham Lighthouse, where you are 5 and 9 plus 20, 5 and 9 plus 20, so your uh, little beam, as uh, you put it, is working very nicely indeed. Uh, we've just got a bit of wire in the form of uh, Carolina Wyndham. It's up quite high though, uh, 45 feet, somewhere around there, and uh, we're using a linear amplifier, but we're not pushing it too hard. I think we're uh, putting out somewhere around 200 watts, give or take, and uh, the radio driving it is the Alicraft K3. And uh, you're sounding very nice, very nice audio on there, Lon, I must say, from uh, the radio at your end. So you've got all our details and there, there is information and photographs on our QRZ.com page if you wanted to have a look. Back to you. QSL at QSL. Uh, this is Golf Bravo 2 Lima Bravo November. Oh, well, as you can tell from my accent, I'm not uh, on this side of the pond most of the time, although I do have a Scottish call uh, and, and I have a reciprocal call here. I'm, I'm a WA6AEE on the other side of the world. So, uh, anyway, uh, the, the radios here, they, the, the club has a very, very nice FT1000 MPs and uh, a little Alpha 87. Uh, and we are are pushing it right at the yeah yeah it pushes almost to 400 there so I'm uh, sure the peaks are hitting 400 uh, and uh, it a load of fun to come out here on the weekends and do this uh, this uh, event every every year I've been doing it for the last three or four years so uh, very very pleasant much more uh, fun on this side of the pond than on uh, on the other side there it's not as well uh, uh, attended I think uh, as it were although on the east coast they do get going pretty good but out California way we, we never saw much of it uh, most of the, uh, most of the uh, con or, uh, event was over with by the time we woke up <laughs> Hi. okay I'll pass along my 73s and thanks so much Ed for uh, taking our call today uh, Golf Bravo 8 uh, Sierra Lima this is Golf Bravo 2 Lima Bravo November 73s Ed and all the best Yes, likewise to you, uh, Lon, and you were between 5 and 9 and 5 and 9 plus 20 throughout that transmission. Uh, one of the stronger signals that we've heard recently, and certainly one of the stronger signals from within the UK on the 20 metre band. Glad you're enjoying yourself up there, uh, here at Shoreham. We've been taking part for the last 20 years. 1999 was when GB8SL first went on the air, and we haven't missed one always with the same call sign from the same location so very pleased to get you in the log and uh, a lot of american stations do register uh, each year for this uh, particular event we don't necessarily hear many of them here with our little wire antennas rather than our beams but uh, i know they are out there so maybe with a signal like that uh, lon you'll be able to get uh, one or two in your logbook up there at uh, Barnes Nest Lighthouse. So 7-3 from everybody here in the GB8 SL tent and uh, very best of luck with the rest of your activation. Golf Bravo 2, Lima Bravo November, Golf Bravo 8, Sierra Lima. Cheers for now, Lon. Bye-bye.
Bravo 8, Sierra Lima, Golf Bravo 2, Lima, Bravo November. Yeah, it, I hope so. Uh, we should be able to pick up uh, maybe some of the stateside stuff uh, as it comes along uh, this, uh, later on in the day here. Uh, last night on 40, though, I was actually, we only have a little dipole on 40, about uh, 10 meter high uh, for the 40 meter rig. And uh, it was uh, Japan was coming in uh, on 40 meters uh, yesterday. So maybe it's got a little propagation going this weekend. I never can tell. 73 is all the best. Uh, and uh, we'll see you down the logbook. Uh, uh, July 30, uh, New Year's England. And we're activating Lighthouse GK0191. Don't forget Lighthouse Lighthouse. Here yeah, Roger that, zero one nine one. Got that, no worries at all. And the operator name your side, please, over. Yes, David Delta Alpha Victor India Delta. Okay, David, fine. You're beautiful five and nine down here this uh, this afternoon. So uh, hope you have lots of fun, lots of success, and, and catch you a little further down. Uh, Golf Bravo One, Oscar Lima. Golf Bravo Eight, Sierra Lima. Thanks, Pete. 73 and good luck with the lighthouse. Uh, this is Golf Bravo 1, Oscar Lima. UK 0191, Bravo Buffy Lighthouse, Lizzie. Yes, sorry, your call one more time, please, over. Roger, roger. The, uh, Yankee Lima 3, Juliet Delta. Very good uh, afternoon. Uh, operator name this side, Pete. Papa Echo Tango Echo Peak the name. There's Lighthouse Shoreham Lighthouse Uniform Kilo 0023 and you're 59 and with some QSB over. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. Well, I wish you a very pleasant weekend uh, and a lot of uh, the itch, of course, and uh, a lot of new results. Uh, 73 from Estia. Bye bye. 73, many thanks. So club member Phil G4UDU has very kindly remade the whole antenna, new wire, don't know if the traps are new but certainly the antenna has completely been overhauled. And uh, we're now going to take down the Carolina wind and put that up instead I think. Yeah, QSL 100% uh, Tim. Vielen Dank für Delta Echo e Delta Echo 049 DE049. Uh, hier sind wir Uniform Kilo 0023, Uniform Kilo 0023 und wir sind hier im Leuchttürmer heute und morgen auch. Leuchttürme in Shoreham in Südengland. Uh, QSL? Roger, Roger. Schönen Dank für UK0023. Uh, wir sind hier am Lighthouse Knock in der Nähe der Stadt Emden. Uh, uh, an der Nordseeküste auf der anderen Seite von dem Fluss Ems uh, ist 
Roger. Roger, Roger, Roger. Vielen Dank für das uh, QSO. Uh, gibt es mehr Infos und Fotos bei qz.com und uh, vielen, vielen Dank für die Verbindung uh, von einem Le Leuchtturm aus England bis ein anderer Leuchtturm in Deutschland. 73 und bis zum nächsten Mal. Delta Kilo 0, Delta Alpha November, Golf Bravo 8, Sierra Lima. Uh, die beiden Leuchttürme. Uh, 73, tschüss. Yeah, QSL Ed will uh, forgive me if I'm lazy and don't try to speak very bad uh, German to you. Lovely to get you in the, the log and uh, yeah, I, I was hoping that uh, we would hear you today. Uh, we've got the 40 meter antenna back up in the air now which is the repaired version of uh, the one that uh, fell down last night and then malfunctioned this morning so uh, we stuck up a Carolina Windham in the meantime but now that's gone and uh, we're back from 20 meters down here on the 40 meter band and uh, yeah lovely to hear you on the band this <laughs> evening <laughs> and now I'm not going to speak German Delta Delta 5 Lima Papa from Golf Bravo 8 Sierra Lima C'est plutôt l'Allemagne, comme je viens de le dire, donc je suis très heureux de, de pouvoir mettre un Fox 4 dans le log de Shoreham Lighthouse. Fox 4, Hôtel Zulu Novembre, euh, je vous retourne le micro pour le final, Laurent. Euh, voici Golf Bravo 8, Sierra Lima. Oui, 73 Laurent et à très bientôt, euh, je l'espère. This is Golf Bravo 8, Sierra Lima, listening for any calls. good and long may it stay that way. Um, congratulations on getting 50 contacts with 20 watts, that's no mean feat 
uh, when the bands aren't in the best shape. I haven't actually added up how many we've done so far but because of antenna problems this morning we have spent a fair chunk of the day on 20 meters and have only been able to get onto 40 meters in the last couple of hours so uh, well done on the activation hope it continues to go well for you uh, we've noted you down as uniform kilo 0219 thanks for putting the station on and I uh, hope you're having as much fun up there as uh, we are having it sounds like a great place to operate from inside your boats there cool. QSL uh, work to Britain Square here is uh, Tango Quebec 2-0. Tango Quebec 2-0. QSL? Yeah, QSL is Tango Quebec 2-0. QSL Richard, thank you for the 5 and 9. You're also a really solid 5 and 9. Uh, one of the stronger lighthouse stations that we've heard on the band. And uh, I know exactly where you are because I'm pretty sure that there's a video on YouTube that somebody did of uh, your lighthouse a number of years ago that I really enjoyed uh, watching. Uh, name here is Ed Echo Delta. Own call sign is Mike Zero Mike November Golf. Uh, uniform Kilo 0023 is our lighthouse number here, Richard, and we've got yours noted as uh, UK 0030. Back to you. KGB8SLGB0TBW, yes, OK there, Ed. Yes, it's very pleasant to hear the uh, lighthouse opposite the O2. It was yesterday when the sun was out, but uh, we've been hit by a storm at the moment, so uh, it's a bit noisy on 80 as well, as well as 40. We're also operating on uh, 2 and 17, but uh, 40 right down at uh, sea level 
available by the river. Anyway, uh, not haven't heard that much activity on 80, unfortunately. So uh, we'll have a tune around and then move back. Probably move back up to 40. Anyway, 73 is and uh, good to work another lighthouse on 80. GB8 Sierra Lima, GB0 Tango Bravo with you. Yes, okay, uh, um, Ed, uh, very good. Uh, I'm sure of, uh, yeah, I don't know why they put so many uh, uh, leading zeros on these lighthouse numbers. It just makes everything harder, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, yes, all okay about Shoreham Lighthouse, and uh, good to work you as well this morning. Uh, we've got two lighthouses here, actually. We're, uh, we're in the high light, and the low light is just across the way from us. Um, so we give both out. Uh, it's UK074 for the high light, and UK009, number 9, for the uh, low light. And uh, they're both uh, in Harwich, uh, Juliet Oscar 101, uh, Papa Whiskey, and we're all Britain Tango Mike 23, in case anybody else listening is interested. Um, okay, uh, well, uh, great to work you with another lighthouse there, Ed. Uh, good luck with your activation, and uh, we were only on today. We weren't on yesterday, but uh, uh, we've got a, uh, another club near here running GB6NT just across the way, so if you hear them, uh, uh, maybe you work with them as well. Um, say hello from us at Harwich. Uh, thanks, Ed, for the QSO, and uh, uh, we'll, uh, we'll hopefully uh, work some more contacts. Uh, 73 is all about GB8SL, GB4HLH. GB4HLH from GB8SL. Yes, OK, John, all copies. 5 and 9 plus 20 during that uh, transmission. So uh, nice to hear some into G on 40 metres. We've just come up from the 80 metre band and uh, worked quite a few on there as well. But we're on the hunt for lighthouses now on 40 metres and we'll probably uh, call CQ in our own right after we've uh, gone up and down the band to see if we can work uh, any other lighthouse stations. Uh, Uniform Kilo 0023 is the lighthouse number here, I think I said. Worked all Britain Square, Tango Quebec 2-0. Tango Quebec 2-0 if uh, you collect those. And we are now running 200 watts approximately into a trapped dipole, one end of which is tied off against the top of Shoreham Lighthouse. Uh, John, back to you. Certainly the 200 watts has made a difference. I hope your auto tuner is working with that now. Um, yeah, you're, uh, you're 20 to, well, just over 20 over 9 here now uh, with us. So, uh, yeah, made a huge difference. Okay, all the best with your uh, CQing and up and down the band. And I uh, hope you work some more lighthouses, as I say, GB6 NTs around somewhere, not too far away from us. And uh, quite a few others on the cluster, so uh, you shouldn't have uh, too much trouble uh, with the 200 watts. Just 100 watts here from the FT450D and uh, sloping dipole from the top of the lighthouse. Uh, 73Z, all the best, uh, GB4HLH clear. Okay, vielen Dank für die Aktivierung des Leuchtturms. 7788, wir brauchen viele, viele Leute. Ja, 7388, uh, vielen Dank für die uh, Verbindung. Uh, kann ich Ihren Namen und QTH haben? Ihren Namen und QTH haben, bitte. Over. Ja, das ist jetzt neuer Yankee Lima. Mein Name ist Barbara Lima. Ich bin Ihr QTH ist Phoenix. Das ist im Südosten von Deutschland nahe der tschechischen Grenze. Over. Ja, QSL uh, Barbara, vielen Dank für die Verbindung und uh, die Radio Club uh, Worthing <laughs> macht jetzt uh, QRT, so uh, du bist die letzte QSO uh, mit Golf Bravo 8 uh, Sierra Lima dieses Jahr 2019. Wir kommen uh, nächstes Jahr in August 2020 zurück. Vielen Dank Barbara 88. Uh, Sie können jetzt uh, die Frequenz uh, haben. Uh, Delta Juliet 9 Yankee Lima. Hier ist Golf Bravo 8 uh, Sierra Lima. Jetzt uh, QRT. Bye bye. Bye bye. So it's all over for another year. We closed down at around 10 past 4 local time after a final spell on 40 meters made uh, 282 QSOs altogether I think it was and uh, probably about 20 or so lighthouses don't know exactly how many 
uh, different countries haven't crunched the figure yet but all in all given the technical problems we had on Friday and the time we lost repairing antennas we actually overcame adversity quite well on our 20th anniversary year hopefully the 21st the key to the door in 2020 will go slightly more smoothly shall we say but uh, all in all it wasn't bad many thanks as ever to Shoreham Rowing Club over there for providing us with mains electricity and uh, use of their facilities so until the International Lighthouse and Lightship Weekend in uh, 2020 this is Golf Bravo 8 Sierra Lina signing off 7-3 from Shoreham Lighthouse and barely an hour and a quarter after we finished our last contact with Barbara you would never know that we had been here at all